In a place is as rich as this, every area has to have something living in it. The foxes and cats have cleaned a lot of the ground fauna up. But this is what I mean. <laughs> I wonder, can you see this buck? Prod him out. He's not going to be a bear. I want to come out. Uh -huh. Drop it. Now, let's have a look at you. Give you something to chew on. You can have a go at my hat. There you are. Out of the way we go. Come here. Come here. Oh, boy. These fellows are fast. I was about to say, if you put something down, that he can bite, he'll usually bite that. Ooh, eat, 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 eat. Instead of me. Then I can get a grip on him while he's getting a grip on that. Oh, these fellas are really something. One of the most beautiful animals in this entire country. It's the water rat, or beaver rat. He's not a marsupial. He's a native animal, a native rodent. See his big web back feet. Front feet are still rat-like for digging. And a little white tip on his tail. Just get a new grip on you, little man. That's it. He eats things like crabs, marron, mussels, and they swim very, very well. In the water, swimming around, diving down, just like a beaver. Up they come and float on their back in the water with the mussel on their belly, just holding it, eating it, cracking it like an otter. Mostly they'll come up on the bank and feed on little platforms. They're an animal that came very close to extinction in the, oh, probably between 1910 and 1930. The fur is exquisite. And being a water rat, of course, it's waterproof. And the fur trade of the world had an enormous demand for Australian water rat. And they were trapped in their thousands. Every waterway, trappers working, and the water rats were thinned down and thinned down. And then, about the 30s, there was a, a wave of revulsion through the, the ordinary people's world against the slaughter of animals for the sake of beauty. And the conservation movement really began then. And this animal has been able to survive through the beginning of that movement. Look at him go. Straight down the bank, into the water. A quick nose around. And then off across the lake. Effortless moving, really swimming along, because he knows where he's going. This is his territory. And because I happened to have disturbed last night's home, he's heading across the bank to another house that he's got on that side. 